Hey guys, I got a tip for you today. Bolt Depot's product. The nut and bolt gauges. So you can see it's on a, I call it a necklace. And on the nut, the uh, red ones are the standard and the blue are the metric. So here's your your uh, necklace. I would say that's the half inch uh, from the uh, 6, 30, 6, 32 threads to a uh, half 13 thread. So on this necklace, bolt and bolt and nut gauge, I've added, I'm going to show you two ways to go about it. You can use, um, I've added brand new nuts and brand new bolts or screws. I really like to look at this. Um, so this allows me, instead of bringing this out and spinning it around wherever you have to try to gauge it, if you wanted to gauge a hole that's on somewhere you can't really get to, it's not like you have a bolt in the hand, but you wanted to gauge something that you didn't want to spin this around in your hand. Well, just you keep a brand new nut and bolt, or nut and screw in this case, right, on your gauge here. As you need it, you would just take this off, say I wanted to check a hole, instead of using this and getting this all fouled up, etc. I just grab this new one, feed it on into my hole, checking it, go no, no, working my way over, putting them back. Say I've got oil in this, well I can easily clean it up with a cheap brush, or brass on one side, nylon on the other, brake cleaner, etc. So I don't foul this up. Put that back in there. Same thing with the nut. I can check it. Now if I get oil or, oil or grease on that, the problem with getting oil and grease on that is that that means I didn't clean my bolt ahead of time. So you should clean your bolt ahead of time before testing it. Don't attempt to test it without cleaning it first. That's not the way to go. So you should not have an excuse for having a dirty bolt basically. Put your bolt back on there. there on your necklace. Now I'm working on filling these all out. I'm also working on the idea of which I really like is changing these out to my die sets. That way I can check my holes instead of using a bolt. I can have a little bit of a clean, uh, cleaning action going on. So here are a nut and two nuts. Now they, they thread on this real easy as you can see. They thread on that easily. But they're two different materials and as such they will have a different friction with the same tap for example. When I go to tap this it feels quite sticky and, and, and fouled almost like it's the wrong size. It is not the wrong size. This material is giving me a false a false reading if you will. It will thread all the way in. I know that because I've threaded it all the way, all the way in already. And of course I use a chuck to do that. But that's a false reading as we know. You can see it works there and watch it work on, side, on top of the, the bolt checker, if you will, of the necklace, the 5 16 18, 18 thread. This one does also, except for now, we can see I'll get a great reading. So here's the, the conflict of a way. There's that 5 16, um, 5, 16 18. Clearly, I can go back with my bolt, and it works great. This is the bolt for there. This is the way I'm leaving it at this time, or working my way over. I'm not sure which way I'm going with it. But I can grab this guy, and it has no problem. So just showing you a little false positive that you can get for a little false negative. If I take this same one off of here, and I apply it over that bolt again, this bolt, you see I get a beautiful reading. So you can see the problem I have with my die system is that the die, has, is, this one is too accurate and it's a different class and so therein lies the problem. Therein lies the problem. It wants to re-thread it to that 20 thousandths of an, I mean, uh, what, 20, two tenths of a thousand, two tenths of a thousandth of an inch it wants to re-thread it. So for now, it's just an idea I have with the tap, but for now I'm going to keep it back to the bolt system, which I just showed you. This just slips right on, slips right on, on, right on, and you're going to do that rotation like that. It should just slide on like that. Check it for looseness. It's good, good, nice fit. Same thing with this one. And thank you for stopping by and taking a look at their products. I really, really, really like their products. And here we go. 
It's the bolt depots, nut, and bolt gauges, which I now call a necklace.